Could you tell us what the letter says, Major Mendora? In English, if you please. <coughs> my dear Paolo, what I have to tell you pains my heart and will wound you deeply. I have fled because of the unwelcome attentions of Major Richard Sharp. <coughs> he has pestered me at every opportunity with the shameful suggestions and indecent invitations. I have to tell you that further to this, on the night of the 16th of April, Major Sharp appeared at our home in a state of drunkenness. He forced his way into our house and begged me to sleep with him. I've never met the woman! Major Sharp, <coughs> I will have silence in this court, is that clear? Go on, please, Major Mendora. He said that there was only one woman in the world for him, and that was me. And if he had to kill you to have me, then so be it. Thank you, Major Mendora. Could you tell the court, please, what happened after the Marquise received the letter? Major Sharp refused to apologize, so there was a duel. And this duel came to an abrupt end, did it not? It was stopped, yes. But Major Sharp was roaring at this time. Roaring? He was cursing and vowing that he would kill the Marquise. In a duel? Thank you, Major Mendora. Mr. Trumper Jones. Major... <clears throat> Major Mendora, you have a vested interest in seeing Major Sharp hang, have you not? No. You were gravely insulted by Major Sharp before this... sword practice. Objection, sir. It was a duel. A duel forbidden by Lord Wellington. Mr. Trumper Jones, you will refer to the duel as the duel. Is that clear? Yes, sir. <clears throat> Major Mendora, did Major Sharp not insult your manhood when he threatened to tan your ass? I did not hear that. You're a liar! Major Sharp! Major Sharp! Gentlemen, you may not be, but you will behave like one in this court. Is that clear? Sure. Please, sir. Where's Nan? Where the hell is he? I don't know. We've heard from the Spanish guard at the Marquis' quarters, but he saw a British rifle officer with a straight sword leave there at three o'clock this morning. Can you explain that? I slept right through till dawn, sir. But you have no witnesses to swear to that. I did not kill him. So you keep telling us, Major Sharp. You also keep telling us that you have never met the Marquise, sir. Yet here we have a letter from her to her husband, a nobleman of Spain, detailing violent, repellent advances by you on her. Perhaps you could tell us why she would say this. I don't know. She's lying. find you guilty of murder, Sharp. You have brought dishonor upon your regiment and the British Army. You are hereby stripped of your rank. You will be escorted from here to a place of execution, and in the presence of our allies, you will be hanged by the neck until dead. Have you anything to say? Permission to die in my rifleman's jacket, sir. Denied. Madame Volunteers, oh, I'm lying! What an idiot! What a dirty little Dutch buffle brain bastard! I'll run his pox crown up his royal pox stars! A blue blooded twat! Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Come to see us fight, Sharp. 
Might I suggest you form square? Is that an order from Brigade? It's a suggestion. Don't follow suggestions, Sharp. Follow orders. Our guns at last. And French cavalry. 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 Where are they going? Surely the Prince of Orange has had his men form square? Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Enemy cavalry, sir. Are they French? My God, they are! Uh, uh, tell them to form square. It's too late. How could it be too late? They must form square. You always form square to receive cavalry. Always, Rebecca. Form square! Good work! In bloody line. For God's sake! I mean... oh God. My brother's just joined, you see. I shall not look. Oh. Save him. I do not see it. Ready? You see the troopers? We'll take them down. We don't want them running away with any messages. Steady now. Fire! Follow me. Stop 
Patrick, leave it! Uh, all right, boys, let's get the loot! What is it? Tobacco? It's just you, it's bark. It's quinny. Saw burns. It's off him. Got it with your life. I looked for you at Kalimgong, Colonel. But I only found fresh graves and the garrison missing. Fort was attacked. And a company entire put to the sword. Did none survive? None. Philip? But I think one, perhaps. And by a lie, I must assume he has told you of his misfortune. Leaving the commanding officer alive was an unnecessary cruelty on my associate's behalf. Major Joubert. I cannot allow your companions to reach the lines in receipt of such intelligence against me. Are you going to kill him? In any enterprise, there is always spoilage. But as gentlemen, cannot we come to some reasonable agreement, you and I? There is no need for you to suffer along of the rest. If it's a matter of scruple, I have always found gold the sovereign thing on earth for troubled conscience. There's not enough gold in the world to buy your life back. My life? Well, we shall have our time. Perhaps sooner than you think. <coughs> Quick. Quick. Get him across. Gun is up. Come on, lass. She's a media. Ah, ah. Major, get off, sir. Come on, get off. Come on. I want them alive! Come on, Richard. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Leave it to him. You go on past that river, you're a dead man. What good are you to her then? Hold back! Hold back, David! Retreat! You'll have to take him on, Pat. Me? Hold on a minute. No argument. Even now. Dragging me off, I'll be looking for another place to cross. You keep to Tridenic's map. I'll rejoin you, isn't I? Richard. Richard, what are you doing? She came back for me, Pat. She came back for me.
Which one, Cooper? Left, three o'clock. Take two. Saint of Spain, stand with the chosen men. Me, sir. Give him yours, Harper. Chosen man, Perkins. <laughs> 